that thing again. I'm a field major. I perfected my craft. Well, do you have to bring it everywhere? Look, I'm an artist. <laughs> Don't hate on me for being committed to greatness. <laughs> Whatever. Besides, I'm working on my party reel. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I'm 
I'm sorry. I gotta go. I have a hair appointment. 7.30 in the morning? On a Sunday? Stop me from drinking so much last night. Do you know I ended up at Caesars again? I don't want that boy to start catching feelings. Hold up. I tried to get you to leave the party, but then you started drinking and you saw Caesar, and you didn't want to have anything to do with me after that. And you act like having feelings is a disease or something. Well, you should have tried harder. The hell that boy gonna think we got something going on? This is the third time this month. Well, maybe there is something going on. Is there? Of course not. What is wrong with you? I was, girl. It's enough of you hitting on me. What did you want me to do? Drag you out of there? Yeah. Next time you see me with Caesar or any other guy for that matter, drag me away. Kicking and screaming if you have to. Listen, I would have loved to take you back to my house last night, but it was just Cassius, a Cassius, of... don't even go there. <laughs> you know not to go there with me. We've known each other since ninth grade. Yeah. You're like a brother to me. I get sick of even thinking of you that way. I'm glad you think it's funny. Some people don't know a good thing when it's staring them right in the face. You remember that time we first met and you peed in your pants? Uh, he, he hell. You know that didn't happen. What's those stupid clowns with those balloons? Jeez, don't be so sensitive. You have to admit, it was funny though. Cassius, you were so cute back then. Really? If I was so cute, why come you never went out with me? You and Emery to homecoming, and you know I wanted to go out with you. Cassius, you were DJing. What was I supposed to do, stand there and hand you records all night? Pretty much. Yeah. Plus, didn't you go with that girl Kristen anyway? Yeah, right. I went out with that girl to make you jealous. You know I had a crush on you. there for you when Alfie passed away. I fed you soup when you had the tonsils taken out. I was at every one of your games. to me than any of these other guys. If that's the case, we should be together. Cassius, please don't go there. You know how I feel about love and relationships. People use the word love so arbitrarily that it has no meaning. 
I bet you can't find two people in the city that give you the same meaning of love. In relationships, they're no different. No, oh, really? You know I'm right, Cassius. Relationships are for insecure people that feel they have to put a label on their significant other. If you have a girl, she's with you, then she's your girl. The girlfriend title is just for all the other guys that you think are trying to take what's yours. Jen, you're my girl, so no, I mean the best when I say this. But you're full of shit. I'm full of shit. Yes, you are. <laughs> Since when did you become an authority on love and relationships? I mean, when was your last relationship again? Well, uh -huh. there was this one guy in high school. Oh, really? Who was that? Mm. He was very handsome uh -huh. and charming. I think you know him. Yeah, I think so, too. Maybe we should go out sometime. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Do you have Emery's number? What? <laughs> Stop <laughs> telling me. <laughs> go ahead and laugh it up. You're having a good time over there. You know what? One day you're gonna look up, and I won't be there. Whatever, boy. Look, I gotta go take a shower. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll see you in class tomorrow. Okay, that's okay. cool. Bye. Mm. Make sure you pick up your person. <laughs> Bye. Bye -bye. Good morning, everyone. Please take your seats as quickly as possible. We've got a lot to cover today. What is love? Can anyone tell me? Yes, Miss Nelson. Uh, yeah. Love is when you care so much about a person or thing, it hurts inside. Okay, very good. Class, do you agree? Miss Meadows. Do you find today's topic of discussion unworthy of your attention? Who? Me? <laughs> no. I mean, yes. I mean, Professor Mason, in general, I think love is overrated. Yeah, I bet you do. Please elaborate, Miss Meadows. Well, I think if you ask 10 different people what they think love is, you'll get 10 different answers. No one person can accurately describe love, except that it's an intangible feeling that varies from one person to the next. In my opinion, love is not some magical feeling that comes over you. I think it's a combination of your comfort level with someone or a specific thing and the experience you share. For instance, it's just as easy to be in love with someone as it's not to be in love with them. It's something that People decide to call an attachment to someone or something. They should just call it an addiction. Yeah, well I never heard my uncle say he loved crack and he still hasn't broken up with it. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, enough people. Very interesting, Miss Meadows. Class, what do you think of Miss Meadows' hypothesis? Actually, where is little Caesar? <laughs> Shut up. Stop it. Well, we have two competing theories on love, class. So that still poses the question, what is love? Well, Miss Meadows, I will challenge you to test your hypothesis. Wait, what? Yes, you said if you asked 10 different people what is love, you get 10 different answers. Uh, this semester, instead of your usual final, you may interview 10 people, 10 students, and submit a video essay of your findings. How do you not take the final? Oh, come on, people. Miss Meadows had the courage to share her ideas with the class. She should be rewarded with the opportunity to prove her hypothesis. So, Miss Meadows, do you accept? Yeah, I can handle that. Oh, this is going to be interesting. The Grinch that stole love. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Middleton, you obviously have some thoughts on this topic. You could be Miss Meadows' research assistant. You're a film major, right? <laughs> uh, yes, but I was... Outstanding. Okay, it's settled then. Class, we are in for a treat. Mr. Middleton, Ms. Meadows, you are excused. We will see you again in 14 days. Oh, I 
was that for? This is all your fault. My fault? You don't want to open your big mouth. In general, love is overrated. Was that you? Shut up, boy. Yeah, I'm doing a project. Hey, you're Cassius Middleton? Uh, uh, um, yeah, I'm Cassius. Your dad plays professional football, right? Yeah, that's me. Excuse me, where are you going? We were talking. Right, and now we're not. Damn it, girl, you gonna stop punching me. You deserve it. Did you have a nice conversation? Whatever. Jen, wait, why are you rushing off like that? Cassius, just let it go. Are you jealous? Jealous? What do I have to be jealous about? You can say whatever tramp you want to. It's none of my business. You are jealous. <laughs> ah! She is jealous. Damn, girl, you know him? Huh? No. Just daydreaming, I guess. Well, it looked more like a nightmare from that ugly look you just had on your face. <laughs> Brenda, do they look happy to you? Yeah, they do. All lovey-dovey and stuff. <laughs> Why you ask? I don't know. Just ask him. Do you think they're in love? Girl, I don't know, I guess. And where are all these questions coming from? You got something on your mind? No. It's just... Well, Professor Mason gave me this assignment. I have to interview 10 people and write a paper on how they feel about love. And? That sounds easy enough, right? Not really. I don't understand how someone can just lose themselves in someone else's life. Someone else's feelings. All you end up with is a broken heart. Look, I think you're missing the point. You see, Brenda, that's how it always ends. Trust me. Love is not a state of being. It's what you are when you don't know what you are. Well, um, I can tell you what I am right now. And right now, I'm five minutes from getting off. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna see you tomorrow, girl, for our next session. <laughs> Dr. No Love. Hey, right, girl. Bye. Bye, crazy. Bam. Thanks, girl. All right, see you later. Bye. Do what you do, make it seem good. What up? Big time. What's going on? Yeah. Frank, simmer down, man. What's going on, everyone? You know what it is, man. It's you. Appreciate that. Yeah, Appreciate man. that. We're just chilling, checking out all this scene. I can dig it. I can dig it. <laughs> okay. Real. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Don't start. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Get a rest. Get what a rest. <laughs> What's up? What's going on, Emery? <laughs> all right. I guess since everyone else is too scared to say anything. Huh? Say what? Huh? What are you talking about? It's right here. It's your intervention, <laughs> homie. Oh, intervention. What are you talking That's about? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Your intervention, dog. We yeah, love Dr. you, man. Hey, look, look, man, we look, we love you, bro. And, and <laughs> basically, you need to give up. We are tired of seeing you chase behind that girl like a yo chasing a ball. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all talking about Genesis? Well, who else would that? Right. You don't see with any other girl on campus. It's time for you to move on, homie. It's for the world. See, you know, New Horizons. Horizons. Man, y'all are tripping. Jen and I are just friends. We hang out and we enjoy each other's company. What's wrong with that? <laughs> and see, lately it seems like that's the only chick you've been hanging out with. So you know what I mean? People ain't starting to talk, you know? Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Talk. Listen, you've been hanging in this friend zone way too long, man. It's hey. like quit saying you're going to keep sinking and sinking until you can't get out. 
right. Look around you, dude. Man. Don't you see all the potential I you see have? it all the time. That's the problem. As a matter of fact, Two things right there. Yeah, I see him. Hey, yo. And they looking at you. But you playing. Now, if it was me, I'd have them both butt naked in the morning, cooking me some beans and rice. You know what I'm talking about? A roast beef and all that. Yeah. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> fellas, listen. Seriously. I appreciate the concern, but Jen and I are more than friends. She just doesn't recognize it. But she will. I guarantee you that. Yeah. Man, what are you, delusional? Hey, look. That girl is never gonna love you the way that love you her, all right? Thanks for your support, my friend. Hey, I'm just, you know, if it was me, I would gave it up a long time ago. Oh, yeah, it was you, if it was you. Yeah, man, hey, <laughs> she's still uh, dating, uh, what's his name, uh, 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 uh sister, sister Rocky. Right. They're, they're, right. they're not dating, man, they're not dating. <laughs> what, 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 what is it? They're just, oh, ah. man. <laughs> all right. Yo, these women, man, they, they only see one thing when they see me. My dad. Jen looks at me, and I know she sees cashes. Not some future paycheck. Come on. I mean, that's why I like hanging out with her. But well, she's like the finest girl on campus, so what can you ask for? Come on. Well, she is fine as hell. Exactly. <laughs> so what more can I ask for, guys? How about some sex, man? What? <laughs> she out there boning. Everybody but Yo, you better watch your mouth. Chill, I know that. I know that. Hey, you better watch your mouth, yo. Chill out, chill out, chill out. That's one too much, too hey, many right brother, there, man. man. Hey, it ain't funny. We're brothers. Look, got man, you. I'm just saying. You know look, what I mean? Look, 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 man, look Okay, bro. Okay, we are not your enemy. Mm -hmm, We're we not your enemy, man. You know how uh, I feel about Jen. <laughs> Othello was only telling you what we already know is true, bro. Whatever. Man. You shouldn't be mad about that. Period. Yeah. My bad, man. My bad. My bad, bro. You know, man. Oh, you gonna play? You know, that's what I'm gonna get down. It's all good. Don't worry about it. You know, maybe I shouldn't have said that anyway. Right. No, that's cool, man. You right. Y'all all right, man. I need to open my eyes, yo. Just a little bit. A lot. Can I get around an 1800 from my friends and I? Yeah. 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 Hey, Cause we about to get cash. Cash. You know, got cash in the morning, man. I can't take Is one drink. Man, forget about it, Emery. It's just one drink. That's right. Come on. Yeah. That's just what it drink. is. It's easy, man. It's go down just cool. smooth, man. Okay. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Hey, let's do it. Let's, let's give a toast, man. Uh, uh, toast to what? What's my mm, toast to? Mm -hmm. Hey, yo. Beans and rice. Beans and rice. Beans and rice. Beans and rice. All right, let's do it. Beans and rice. Yeah. Yeah. Beans and rice. Yeah. I don't got none in my glass, man. What's, what's up with that? Oh, man, I dropped that, too. Oh. I think we'll need a cab over here. Yeah. <laughs> Genesis, come here, sweetheart. There's someone I want you to meet. I have homework, Mom. Oh, come here, Jen. I need to get to it. This will only take a minute. Genesis. Genesis. This is Jerry Rasha. We work together at the firm. Nice to meet you, Genesis. Don't worry about it. She's always like that. Is this Mr. Rasha? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your boss? Mr. Rasha. Uh, yes. Genesis, this is Mr. Rasha. Mom, can I talk to you for a second? In the kitchen, please? <laughs> you stay right there. I'll be back. It's fine. Crazy mom. Can't keep taking your boss in. 
difference. Every time you end up in the same place, sitting on a couch with a gallon of Butterfinger ice cream. Sweetheart, this is different. Jerry is incredible. He is so smart and sweet and and young. How old is he anyway? Well, he's older than the last um, break up with me. Eva, maybe I should come back some other time. Just sit down, Jerry. I'll be back. Now. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay as long as you got a good heart. Because I don't want to, you know, I told you, when I got done with you, I was going to have to die at 911. Okay. All right. She looks pretty, right? She looks like a princess. Did mommy look like a princess when you got married? Yeah, she did, sweetie. I want to be a princess when I get married. You have a long way to go for that. So don't rush it. And make sure he's the right guy. Don't you say. Then we're going to look together forever and ever and ever like you and mommy, right? That's right, sweetie. I promise, no matter what, I will always be here with you. Now give me some. Another night, another batch of groupies, huh, Pop? Don't you ever get tired of these gold diggers, man? <sighs> Sorry about that, son. I didn't think you'd be on until later. It's 11.45 and I have class in the morning. Where was I supposed to be? Really? 11.45? I must be on mountain time. But hey, I met Jessica and Megan at the mall. Now hold on. For once, Pop, I wish you would have a normal relationship, a normal life. Since mom died, all you do is bring her these cheap ass tricks. Boy, you better watch who you talking to. I know it's hard for you to understand right now. Huh. But since your mom died, I really just, I wanted to keep it light. I'm not ready for another relationship. When your mom passed, that was the end of anything serious to me. Right now, I just, I just wanna have some fun. And on that note, we, we had a good talk, baby. I'm sorry I acted so crazy yesterday. It's all good. Good. 
So, can you meet me on campus so we can begin our interviews? Yeah, that's cool. Wanna meet at one? Okay, I'll see you at one. Okay, Kelly, so when we begin, I need you to tell me your name, your major, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. And that'll be it, okay? No problem. You ready, Cassius? Yeah, I'm good to go. Roll the camera. Okay, I'm rolling. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kelly, and my major is sports medicine. Okay, Kelly, can you define love for me and tell me how you know when you're in love? Well, I think when you're in love, it's just like the fairy tales on TV. Not in an actual sense, of course, because we're not cartoon characters. But you still have the same feelings like Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Like the birds chirping and the sun shining. So let me get this straight. You know you're in love when you hear bells ringing, birds chirping, and the sun is shining? Well, I guess. I mean, I'm single right now. I'm waiting for my Prince Charming. So. You found your Prince Charming when you hear bells, the birds will be chirping, and the sun is always shining. <laughs> That's right. And until then, you're not going to date or see any other guys? <laughs> oh, I, I still hook up. I just don't have a boyfriend. I think we got all we need. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Kelly. That'll be all we need from you today. <laughs> okay. No problem. <laughs> Anything for Cassius? Do you know if he's single? I don't know. No. Darn. Really? <laughs> I want to ride that boy till he has a seizure. Can you tell him I ask about him? What? No! <sighs> Cassius, come on, let's go. I think Miss Fairytale here wants to sprinkle some of her pixie dust on you. Oh, really? Cassius, let's go. Uh, I need your help. Can it can it wait? Cassius, I need you to help me get my mattress today. You can deal with your fairy tale later. Mattress? Oh. Are, are you offering a better deal? I'm offering you free lunch if you help me get my mattress. Uh, mattress or lunch? I think I want to be on Kelly's mattress. So you're going to leave me for some nasty mattress? A piece of free lunch. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just don't bring home any bed bugs. Hi, Cassius. Uh, um, I have class in a few hours. Do you want to go and do something? Um, heard you might be hungry. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'll keep you satisfied. Um, I have to go. I have to help a friend. <laughs> now? Yeah, I got to go. I, I'll <laughs> see you around, okay? Okay, let me put it another way. I want you. I know you want me. And if you come with me, you're going to have lots of sex. No, I'm good. <laughs> Let's just sleep nowhere. Don't think you're going to get some because you turned that hole down. Well, somebody has a break in your mattress. Whatever, boy. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, Cassius. Just another time I've been there for you. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, you say you know, but when are you going to realize I'm the man you need? <laughs> I don't know, Cassius. I mean, I don't hear any bells or birds chirping. And the sun isn't even out yet. <laughs> oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, come on. I was just joking. You joke too much <laughs> about things that should not be joked about. Cassius, don't be like that. Come in. Watch some TV with me. No, thanks. I'm out. Cassius! Don't be like that! I knew he would come to his senses. What do you want? What's good, Genesis? How are you? What do you want, Caesar? I'm just in the area. I thought I could stop by and check up on you. Great. I'm fine. Now you know, and now you can go. Wait a minute, Jen. Jen? Only one person calls me that, Caesar, and it's not you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Genesis. Look. I miss you. What went wrong? I mean, what happened to us? Us? Boy, there is no us. What we had was fun, and it's over, okay? 
chances. Give us another chance. I love you. Are you still mad at me? I'm sorry, okay? But there's no reason to avoid my calls. Well, I hope you're not mad for long because we have to finish our interviews tomorrow. Meet me on campus at 10 o'clock, main courtyard. Hi, Cassius. I'm sorry. Are you still mad at me? Let's just get on with this, okay? Cassius, don't be like that. I said I was sorry. It was just a joke. Well, you're not funny. I don't like it when you make light of my feelings for you. Well, I see you're still mad. So I'll drop the subject for now, and then we can talk about it after the interviews. All right, camera's ready. Let's get this over so I can go. If you're going to be watching, I need you to keep the noise down, please. So when we begin the interviews, I need you to state your name and your major, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. Cool. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Camera's rolling. Please state your name and major. All right, my name's MC Get Busy, and my major is getting money and getting the honeys. Yup. Yeah. All right, first, I want to give a shout out to my homeboys, Wonder Bread, Victoria Slim, and Pete. All right, all right, all right, all right. I make dope. But don't let the dough make me. Been in this game since y'all was rocking Paisley. A young rapper, maybe the best one yet. Just getting started, and I ain't even done yet. And while y'all talk about what y'all gonna spend, I'm about to make my first hundred million. Hut! What the hell is that? I mean, you told me to say my name and my major and all that. So, you know, I figured I'd say what up to my peeps, you know? Add my flavor to the video, you know? No, I don't know. And I don't wanna know. This is not a rap video, nor your personal rap audition. Okay, okay, calm down, Shotgun. I just wanted to audition. Now, what do you want me to do with your fine self? First off, I'm not your shorty. Hi. How do you define love? My name is Jonathan, and I'm majoring in computer and information sciences. My name is Lamar, I'm a senior, and I major in psychology. Hi, I am Melinda, and my major is biology and biological sciences. My name is Gloria, but I go by Glow. I major in... Cassius, why are you making me do this? Business administration and management. My first year of college, my, I was totally devoted to my girlfriend from high school. I loved every minute of it, and though I flirted with other girls, I was faithful to only her. Love is a word that describes one's deepest passion. God is love. He loves us no matter what we do. His love is demonstrated by His Son, Jesus Christ. While here on this earth, Jesus Christ made the biggest sacrifice and demonstrated His love in the most powerful way of humankind. Gloria. I go by glow. Love is unconditional. Oh, it's easy to love when times are good, but love is tested in times of trial and discomfort. About a week before finals, she left me for someone else. Love is something that's going to be there regardless, no matter what. And if you're really passionate about it, your love for it will never die. Like, for example, I'm in love with my girl, which does mean I could possibly fall out of love with her depending on the situation because if the passion dies, then the love dies too. Love makes us vulnerable and open. Sometimes love can't be described in words. Love is beyond words. Love can be displayed in a multitude of ways. It's not only material based. Glow, can you define love for me please? Well, I've never truly been in love, but I heard that love is when you find someone you want to spend the rest of your life arguing with. 
You've got to be joking, right? College is an immature place for immature people to learn to grow up, to break hearts and to have their hearts broken, to find themselves knee deep and to learn how to deal with it. Um, well, I don't think a person can really experience love for someone else until they have a child. I know you said you've never truly been in love, but how do you think you know when you're in love? I don't know. Like I said, I ain't never truly been in love, but I heard, I think, I don't know. I guess when he tell me he love me after a big argument or something. Interesting. Oh well, thank you. Forgiveness is an act of love. I believe people struggle with loving other people because they cannot love themselves. They carry guilt and shame and fear and anger from their past, and that can overpower one's ability to love. Lori, Evelyn Sullivan, will you marry me? Hola, soy Tiffany Gomez y yo estoy con especialización lengua inglesa literatoria. For the sake of those that don't know the Spanish-speaking language, Tiffany, could you please state your name and major in English? Could you please state your name and major in English? is when you're concerned for the other person and their wants, needs, and well-being matches or exceeds your own wants, needs, or well-being. Anything short of that to me is simply passion or lust. That coupled with the existence of oneness with that person equate to love. Thanks. We're all set. One more interview, please. The camera's set on automatic. Just make sure I'm in frame, okay? Okay, but Cassius, you don't have to do this. Last time I've checked, I'm a student. And Professor Mason said nothing about us not interviewing ourselves. He just said only 10 different people. So let's get on with this. Okay. State your name and major, please. I don't think I need any introduction, but for the purpose of this interview, my name is Cassius Middleton. My major is communications. How do you define love? Love is when you feel warm all over for no reason. Love is your inner soul brightening so bright inside that people see it from the outside. How do you know when you're in love? I know I'm in love when she's the last person I think about when I go to sleep. And the first person I think about when I wake up in the morning. When I'm around her, my heart beats faster and I feel warm all over. When she touches me, a chill goes up my spine. And when she spends time with me, I do whatever it takes so that the moment lasts because I don't want her to leave. This is an actual event of what it is to be in love with someone. Okay, thanks everyone. That's a wrap. I appreciate your support. Cassius, I guess I'll see you at your house around 8 o'clock to review the footage. Something smells good. Are you cooking? No, my dad has one of his gold digging hoochies over. Oh. She's trying to impress him. <laughs> Man, 
Whatever your dad's girl is up there cooking, it sure smells good. You should go up there and see if there's enough for us. No, I am cool. You know, tell them what she put in there to try to trap my dad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make something later. Okay. Maybe you can cook with me, uh, cook with me with your uh, bra and panties on. Or better hit your thongs. You were like that, wouldn't you? Heck yeah, girl. What's in it for me? Me, baby. <laughs> Dang, girl, you like to hit, don't you? <laughs> Maybe we should have interviewed your dad to see what his take on love is. Yeah, right. Him in love? Yeah. A, a different chick every week. I think he forgot what love is. I mean, he had to be in love with your mom, right? Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Nah, it's cool. I'm good. Son, I'm headed out. I'll be back really late. Don't wait up. Does that bother you? What? Your dad and all the girls he brings over to the house. I don't know, I guess so. I mean, I feel like I, I live in a strip club, not a home. I mean, damn, can he just be serious with one person again? I mean, he's back to his old ways when he, when he met my mom. My mom was the only person to put him in his place. Why did you do the interview? Is that really how you feel about love? Yeah. The Wikipedia definition of love is any of a number of emotions and experiences related to a sense of strong affection and attachment. It says that the diversity of uses and meanings combined with the complexity of feelings involved makes love unusually difficult to clearly define, even compared to any, any other emotional states. Wikipedia? Yeah, Wikipedia. What's wrong with Wikipedia? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> What's the definition of cornball? Oh, um, I can find out though. Hold on one second. My phone right here, got the Blackberry. Oh, here it goes. It says, these nuts. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> you ran right into that one. <laughs> so why are you scared of love? What do you mean? I mean, I've seen that look on your face when the guy proposed to his girl during the interview. I mean, I don't get it. You have Caesar. Yeah, but I'm not in love with Caesar. He's just someone to pass time, you know, FWB or a STD. What's up with these acronyms? A STD? I know what the medical term is used for, but I'm not sure I want to know how you're using it, man. <laughs> Does it have the word disease in it? No, it's something to do. Oh, <laughs> so you're saying that you don't get that magical feeling for Caesar. Or should I say, your brain doesn't trigger that craving similar to smoking crack. Are you making fun of me? No, I'm just saying, most people don't know their soulmate is right under their nose. True, but I'm not really looking for love right now. I feel mm. like it'll happen, but right now, I'm cool with Caesar being my feeling. Truth be told, I'd rather if you be my feeling. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. How about I go strip down to my thong, or better mm. yet, strip down everything. Cook us some dinner, and then you can give me some. Oh, so now you want to be with me? <laughs> no. I'm not asking for us to be together in a relationship. No, just friends on a sexual level. Then I can see what all the girls want so bad. <laughs> Sex buddies, is that what you really want? Yeah. For now, I mean, you don't have to put it that way. Who knows where it'll go? Right now, we can just be two friends helping each other out. I'm sure it's been a while for both of us. Um, it's getting late. I had to get up early, so. Since it's late, you can stay tonight. I'll just take the couch. No. I'll be okay. I guess I'll see you around. Yeah. I need to make a bank run. Do you ladies think you can manage to act like you're working around here while I'm gone? We'll try. Mm -hmm. 
How you doing, beautiful? What time you get off? In 20 minutes. Why? Perfect. I'm taking you out to dinner. Oh, and here, this is for you. Wow, Cassius. This is really nice. And a surprise. What is this for? Just want to take my friend out to dinner, that's all. I'll be right over there waiting, okay? Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How's your meal? It's really good. What about yours? Not bad. You know, I was really surprised to see you today. Especially after everything I've done to upset you lately. Well, I had a lot to think about. I thought we would start over. I thought by bringing you here to dinner, we could talk about us. You know, Cassius, <sighs> we've known each other for a very long time. Yeah. And we've been through so much together. Like when your mom died. You never talk about her anymore. I know. I hate the lifestyle my dad is living after she passed away. I know what you mean. My mom hasn't been the most perfect role model ever since my dad left. She dates these men that are her bosses, and they look at me as like I'm next on their sick, twisted list. <sighs> Do you see your dad? Because you never talk about him. Yeah. I talk to him a lot on the phone. And I go see him sometimes. I was actually going to go live with him, but I couldn't leave my mom. She needs me here to keep her grounded. I know what you mean. I thought about living on campus, but my dad really needs me. I mean, I hate his lifestyle, but I'm afraid it'd get worse if I left. Say, so, do you think we genetically inherit our, our parents' traits? Guys act like their fathers, and girls act like their moms. I don't think I act like my mom, but I fear and did not like her. You mean unlucky in love? Well, yeah. I'm scared of caring for someone who's not gonna do anything but cheat on me and treat me like crap. I've heard so many stories of people being in love and love making them do some crazy things. <laughs> well, I can testify love will make you do some crazy things. But that's all part of being in love. It's a chance you take. Well, I'm not one for taking chances when it comes to that. Well, I think I'm scared of the unknown. The unknown? Yeah. Care to explain what that means? The unknown. The uncertainties. I know that sounds crazy, but after seeing my dad cheat on my mom and hearing my friends talk, yeah. it's, I'm scared not to know. Jen, sometimes life is like a game. You either win or you lose. You just have to take a chance. Well, I'll leave all the chance taken up to you, and I'll stick to what I do. Plus, I don't see you all madly in love. How do you know that? Maybe there is someone. Well, if there is, you definitely don't love her. You don't talk about anybody, and you're always with me. It's like, you're scared of the unknown, too. Girl, please. The unknown, as you put it, does not phase me. I'm scared of becoming like my dad. I don't want to be with woman after woman. There's only one woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. It sounds like you know who this woman is. Well, I like to keep my faith. Sure wish I knew how to keep the faith. I can't wait for this assignment to be over. Why? You're not enjoying your time with me? Whatever. <laughs> Why do you always find some way to fix yourself into the mix? <laughs> oh, you got to hit me in the heart so hard. <laughs> good to see you smiling. I assume you, uh, you having a good time? Yeah, I am. You know, thank you. I needed this. After we finish the assignment, we should get together one more time for dinner. Especially since we're both about to graduate and go our separate ways. 
I really enjoy doing this assignment together. And if it were up to me, it would never end. I'm glad you enjoy spending your time with me. Jim, why do you think we never hooked up as a couple? Cassius, do I have to go over this again? I was with Emery and you were with Kristen. Forget the past. What's stopping us now? Cassius, you're not just my best friend. You're like a brother to me. And with that, I can never take it there with you. Please don't go there. I'm really enjoying this dinner and I just want to savor the moment. Are you guys okay? Can I get you anything else? No, just a check, please. Okay, I'll be right back with you. Can you state your name and major, please? My name is Ginger, and my major is telecommunications. Okay, Ginger, how do you define love? There was a time when I believed love as being the best you can be for a person. Knowing that you think of them even before you think of yourself in everyday situations. Love is an unbroken bond between two or more entities. Love is many, many things. There's no one word or thing that can describe love. But love is caring, sharing, trusting, and being there for your partner. To the next person, please step around. I knew I was in love because I truly saw him in every aspect of my life. I wanted to share everything, good and bad, with him. <laughs> and as corny as it may sound, I saw us growing old together. You know you're in love when you want to be around that person all the time. That person makes you feel love and makes you want to love. The drill, so go ahead. Uh, some form of love will last an entire lifetime. Demonstration of love may end physically, you know, death, breakup, whatever, but love abides forever in you emotionally and or spiritually. Thank you. That's all we needed. That's a wrap. We officially interviewed our last interviewee. Good, because I have something to say. Can you? Come over here and uh, stand behind the camera and just point it at me, please. What are you doing? Nothing. Just come over here and stand behind the camera and just point it at me. Um, okay, but we already got your interview. I know, but I have something to add. Is that okay with you? Yeah, whatever. Is it framed at me? Uh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> This is Cassius Middleton, and we've just wrapped up our session of defining love. Earlier, I talked about how love makes you feel warm all over for no reason. Love is your inner soul, brightening so bright inside that people see it from the outside. I have to stand corrected. I've been in love with the same girl since high school. How I know I love this girl is because she's the last person I think about when I go to sleep and the first person I think about when I wake up in the mornings. When she's around me, my heart beats faster. I've enjoyed spending the last several days working on this project with her that I don't want it to end. I will go to the end of the earth for her and back. When she hurts, I hurt. Cassius, please don't. You are my reality, sweet and sexy. Everything I've dreamed. The only problem is, she doesn't love me back. She's done everything in her power to try to stump all over my heart. Every chance she gets, she makes it known that we'll never be together. But still, I come around. I still help you no matter what. And why? because I care that much about you. All that we've been through, and you only want me to be the brother you never had. Just hear me now. For the record, I love you, Jen. I love you.
Hey, Cassius. Uh, I would ask how you're doing, but it doesn't look like you're getting much sleep. No, I've been very busy. What you want? How about we go grab a snack after class? No, I'm not really up for that right now. Matter of fact, I'm not really up for anything right now. Maybe I'll catch up with you later, okay? Actually, that is what I was hoping for. The last time I spoke with you, I wasn't clear why you walked away from me so abruptly. Well, that's because you're only interested in my status and not me. Oh, no. I approached you because it is no news flash that you're in love with someone that doesn't feel the same about you. So, in that sense, you're heartbroken. And I just got my heart broken by my man. So, where are you going with all this? Look, we're both somewhat on a rebound. And rather than trying to be with someone else, only to get our feelings hurt again, why not be with each other? When we know from the jump, there are no emotions involved. Just hooking up with no emotions, no nothing. Just hitting it and going home. You don't have to put it that way, but yeah, somewhat. Just look at it as rule 12. Rule 12? What's with these rules? You don't know the hooking up rules for college. No, I don't. How do I know you're not trying to get with me for my money? <laughs> Actually, we have a lot more in common than you think. You see, if you weren't running behind girly, you'd realize that. Unlike you, I use the alias for school because I don't need people to know that I'm the daughter of a professional athlete. And my mom, she's a tennis player. She's even gone out with your dad a couple times. So no attachments, right? Nope, none at all. I'm black and white would make a good fit, but both our hearts are somewhere else. All right, come over tonight. Do, 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 do. A little sound here. A little sauce. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey guys. Do, 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 do. Hey there. Hey you, what's up? Tried calling do, you a little do. while ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. So, what you want? Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just wanted to apologize. And before you say yes. anything, I know I'm always apologizing. It's just something you said. Oh, um, can you hold that thought? Okay, I think we're back. Cash! Cash! Hey, sexy. Hey, handsome. Dang, don't you look divine. Mmm. So Mary, this is Genesis. Genesis, this I know is who the hell she is. Cassius, what is going on? Nothing. Me and Samara are about to kick it. Kick it? Mm -hmm. She is nearly naked, but you're about to kick it? More like stick it from the looks of what she's wearing. I'm about to go pour some wine. Alright, baby. <clears throat> What's up, Genesis? Why are you over here acting all surprised and brand new? Damn, Cassius. You were just spilling your feelings to me, what? Yesterday? And now, not even 24 hours later, you're here with her? I came over here to tell you I had to change your heart, but I see you had other plans. Well, you should have said something last night. Not that it would have made a difference. I mean, I deserve to be happy, and that's what I am right now. Happy? You just met her. Actually, I already knew her. We've been friends for some time now. She completes me, and we have potential. Potential? What a freaking joke. You know what? You're just like your father. You feared becoming him, and now you are him. I can't believe you're doing this to me. Let's stand corrected here. My dad has many women. I just have one. You're a smart cookie. Do the math. No, you're no different, Cassius. You're a whore just like you. Men, you make me sick. <laughs> you say so. But I have the courage to at least try my hand at love. I just try with the wrong person, I guess.
Yeah, I know. I've been busy. I guess you have, man. Thought maybe I said something wrong last time when we got home. Anyway, what you been up to? No, you're fine. I just been doing a lot of thinking, working on the assignment for class. Have you thought any about us and our relationship? What are you doing? You know that is my movie. Are you really watching it? Or are you just saying that? We haven't started. How about we watch together then? Yeah, sure. I can use a smile. How about you bring it over here? Alright, I'll be there shortly. Okay. Damn, girl, you look fine. Thanks. Where's the movie? Oh, I figured we could watch the movie anytime. For look at you, I was right. Don't quite scream movie watching outfit. <laughs> so you want to get down and dirty, huh? Well, we don't need a movie. I'll be the movie. Girl, you know what we used to do. <laughs> Something wrong? Mm -hmm. What you doing? Uh, getting washed up and dressed. What, you about to leave? Uh, yeah, I'm straight. I got what I came for. Hooking up with no strings attached is not all that bad, right? It has its parts, don't you think? Yeah, I guess so. I can get some what I want without the hassle of answering to anybody. Are you okay? Cassius, hmm. I think you're a cool guy. Wouldn't mind hanging out. Mm -hmm. You know, going to the movies, dinner, stuff like that. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait. What happened to just sex only and nothing else? I'm fine. You wanna talk about it? Not really. See, I'm sorry. Where'd you get that outfit from? The store. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. You didn't have that on earlier. I have this in my bag. You like? Hey. Does it look good? Girl, a napkin would look good on you. Maybe that's what I wear next time I come over. Just as long as those little cocktail napkins, you know, the ones that give you with your drink at the club. You're too cute. Who wouldn't want to be a girl? I gotta get out of here. How about going shopping with me tomorrow? Okay, I'll come and pick you up in the morning. For what? For what just happened? It's okay. It's not like it's the first time you've done that. I'm used to it. Oh my God. You mean I've done this before and you never said anything? I ain't seen no reason to. Chan I mean, chances. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that you and Cassius are similar in so many ways, but in so many others, you're completely different. Well, we are different people. I know, but Cassius would have came into the bathroom to make sure I was okay. I asked you if something was wrong, and you ignore me. Yeah, because Cassius would have got out of bed and came into the bathroom. Maybe because you locked the door. Who cares what you would have done? I do. Every time something is wrong, you just sit around and wait for me to come around. You're never there for me like Cassius is. Look, I ain't come over here to discuss Cassius. Especially after just having sex. I'm sorry, Cat. Caesar. Wow. That's the first time you call me. Sassay <laughs> better call me Cassius. What, you wanna get with Cassius? 
or have you. I know how close you guys are. What, you break up and I'm the rebound for the night? No, Caesar. it's just the assignment I've been working on for class. He's my partner, we've been arguing a lot. I'm just really stressed out, that's all. I don't know, you lay here and compare me to him? Can you call me by his name? Genesis. Sounds like more than being stressed with some project. Look, let's not spoil the night. Since you failed to bring over Casablanca, how about we find a movie to watch? I'm hungry. You want a snack? Yeah, what you got? How about some milk and cookies? Just pop it like it's hot, baby. right? <laughs> yes, Samara. Cassius, funny to see you two here. Hey, Genesis. Hey, nice shoes. How about we go grab a, something to drink? <clears throat> I'm a bit thirsty. It was nice seeing you, Genesis. We'll have to invite you over for dinner. Yeah. Cassius, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, what's up? In private. Hey, girl. Tiana, Gabrielle, oh my goodness, it is so nice seeing you girls. What's up, Genesis? Cassius, why are you here with her? I thought you said you wanted to settle down with somebody that was ready to be serious. What about it? I said what I was feeling, but you didn't seem to care. I ran after you like a, a lost puppy in a mall. And I, I don't, and I don't want to go through that again. Be hurt by somebody I care about? So I've decided to be just like you, Genesis. I think love in general is overrated. You don't mean that. You're just, you're just hurt. Come on now. Does it look like I'm hurt? Samara gives me something I haven't had in a long time. And that's companionship. I mean, I'll always care for you, but I'm not gonna be your puppy anymore. I'm the big dog on the porch now. I thought the assignment would show you what love truly means, but it didn't. You can't go around holding grudges forever. You have to learn to let go of your fears and insecurities and let love enter into your life. I mean, you freely remind me about how I don't want to be like my dad. But what about you mentioning you don't want to be like your mom? Take care, okay? Genesis, are you okay? What's wrong, baby? Nothing. It can't be nothing if you're in here crying. Mom, how do you know when you're in love? Oh, baby. Love is complicated. Love is a strange thing. It can be the most amazing feeling in the world. Or oh, it can really hurt. But in the end, love is something most of us, if not all of us, will face. There are many different ways to define love. And there are many different ways to love someone. Does this question have anything to do with Cassius? Why do you ask that? I see how you are when you're with him, but you're such a strong but stubborn girl. 
you keep acting the way you're acting, and you're going to lose him forever. Don't go away. Ma, mm -hmm. can I borrow your video camera? Sure, sweetie. Why? I need it to finish my class assignment. I'll be back. You need some help? No, Ma. I got this. This is something I need to do on my own. Okay, baby. I love you. Love you, too. All right. I guess you're surprised to see me. And I think you all know who I am. When I first began this project, I thought love had no meaning. I thought love in general was overrated. Well, I stand corrected. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. The uh, last time all of us met here, we were talking about what is love. We had a few compelling theories. Uh, Ms. Nelson believed that love was when you felt and cared about something or someone so much that it hurt inside. While Ms. Meadows disagreed with Ms. Nelson, she felt that uh, love in general was overrated. Ms. Meadows went on to explain then that if you were to ask 10 people what they thought love was, you would get 10 different definitions. Uh, she went on to explain that no one can accurately define love other than some intangible feeling that varies from one person to the next. Is that right, Ms. Meadows? Well, two weeks ago I challenged Ms. Meadows to prove her hypothesis to the class. Have you uh, completed your assignment, Ms. Meadows? Yes, I have, Professor Mason. Oh, very good. Then I give the rest of today's class session uh, over to you. This should be interesting. Hey, quiet! <laughs> I expect you all to give Miss Meadows your undivided attention. In college, you meet many different types of people and learn more about human interactions than any psychology textbook. So the atmosphere is basically a spectrum of different attitudes, beliefs, and values. So the DVD I prepared will show you just that. Love can be found worldwide and is often used to describe compassion. Accepting those you love for who they are is a part of love. People in love are sensitive to each other's needs and endeavor to meet them even when they do not feel like doing it. Men and women may be equal in value but different by nature. People who are truly in love are considerate of each other's feelings. So remember, there's no failure in love. Once you tell someone that you love them, you've already succeeded in love. Please. Well, as we can see, uh, Miss Meadows did an excellent job on her assignment. Um, does anyone have any questions for Miss Meadows? Yes, Miss Nelson, what's, what's your question? I just want to know if you feel the same way about what love is. It seemed at the end you had a change of heart. How did it change? Excellent question, Ms. Nelson. Uh, do you care to answer, Ms. Meadows? Yes. Love is any of a number of emotions and experiences related to a strong affection and attachment. The word love can refer to a variety of different feelings, states, and values. 
ranging from a generic pleasure to interpersonal attraction. This diversity of uses and meanings, combined with the complexity of the feelings involved, makes love unusually difficult to consistently define, even compared to other emotional states. I define love as a feeling of warmth. You feel all over for no reason. Love is your inner soul, brightness so bright inside that people can see it from the outside. But I would never acknowledge it. How I know I'm in love is when you're the last person I think about when I go to sleep and the first person I think about when I wake up in the morning. When I'm around you, my heart skips a beat and I feel warm all over. When you touch me, I feel a chill down my spine. Cassius, you are my reality, and I am yours. The problem is, I let my stubbornness and insecurities get the best of me. For the record, I love you, Cassius. I love you. It's okay, Jen. No, it's not. I shouldn't have been so stupid. After seeing what my dad did to my mom and how men are, I let them rob me of my happiness. I love you, Cassius. I'm ready to be yours now, Cassius. Not as a friend with benefits. Not even as your friend. I don't care about your status, your dad's status, nor your money. My best friend, Cassius. I love you, baby. Wow, Jen, that's deep. And I always will love you, but it's too late. No. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm in love with Samara now. I told you when you came to the house, I moved on. Jen. Just, you don't love her. Jen, don't do this to yourself. Stop <laughs> embarrassing yourself. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to say right now, except I'm sorry, okay? Hey, sweetheart, what's wrong? Why are you not dressed? Nothing. Just thinking about the past, the future. I know this is not how you thought things would play out, but it is what it is. I mean, it could have been worse. It's been two years since all that went on. I know, Ma. I just I never know, thought... I know, sweetie. But you have me, and I love you. So maybe you should go get dressed. I will in a moment. I just need a minute to get myself together. Okay, but don't take too long, baby. We don't want to miss the ceremony. I'm sure no one will mind if I'm late. Just go get dressed. <laughs> Well, he's back there, I'll wait up to the top, man. 
Spellers, spellers. Pop, what's going on, man? What's going on? How you doing? How you doing? My boy, my boy. Hey, man. Looking good, son. Yeah, I do, huh? Yes, you do. Just like you did on your wedding day with mom. I'm glad you decided not to date Samara's mom. Otherwise, this will be one awkward day. <laughs> You're right about that. Yeah. Hey, but watching you and Samara made me realize I needed to get back into a real relationship. What's that? Settle down. Find somebody just like you do. <laughs> yeah, she's great. Just like mom. Really? Mm hmm Hey. You ready for this? Yeah, Pop, I'm ready. Right. Let's do it. Let's go. My shirt either. No more beans or rice, but tripping about the wrong thing. Man, it's not here. Whatever. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Not to be entered into lightly, holy matrimony should be entered into solemnly with reverence and honor. Into this holy agreement, these two persons have now come together to be joined. If there's anyone here that can show just cause why these two persons should not be joined together in holy matrimony. Let them speak now or forever hold their peace. You have pronounced yourselves husband and wife, but remember to always, always be each other's best friend. What therefore God has put together, let no man put asunder. And so with the power vested in me by the state of Georgia and the almighty God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Are you going to kiss me or are we MFWB, married friends with benefits? Sex buddies? Is that what you really want? Yeah, for now. Who knows where it would go? But for now, we could be married friends helping each other out.
Love is your inner soul, bright and so bright inside that people can see it from the outside. Please. Is this rolling? Sorry, sorry, sorry.